Hey, what's up everybody in the YouTube world? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon11970. Thank you as always for checking out my video. And uh, somebody sent me a post earlier today that when you have this all laid out before you, the way I'm going to talk about it, it's going to make you really think about who is actually the crazy ones. The people trying to help you learn about the truth or the people that are programming us with all this information we've heard all our lives. So let me read this chart, and by the end, you think about it, and you tell me what you think. So it starts out with, they said, and I'm assuming that means either governments or scientists, what it says, they said, the sun will give you cancer. But the truth is, exposure to the sun generates vitamin D, which will protect you from cancer. They said, sunscreen protects you from cancer. But the truth is, sunscreen contains chemicals that actually give you skin cancer. They said terrorism is a major threat. But the truth is, Al-Qaeda is the CIA, and your government is the major threat. They said diet products are more healthy. But the truth is, diet products contain aspartame, and aspartame causes brain cancer. They said annual mammogram scans will prevent breast cancer. But the truth is, Mammograms expose you to ionizing radiation, which will give you cancer. They said vaccines will protect you. But the truth is, most vaccines contain thermosol, or mercury, and that will kill you. They said fluoride will protect your teeth. But the truth is, fluoride is a toxin, and it will give you cancer and potentially kill you, and cause dental fluorosis. Well, I think if it kills you, you really don't care about the other part, so that's a little weird how they worded that. But think about that for a second. All these things that we've been told all our lives. And this is why I understand when I talk about things like my Oregon products or my Oregon pyramids, or my, I'm sorry, my organic products or my Oregon pyramids or the sun gazing, people initially will use what's called their normalcy bias, and they will dismiss something automatically without research because it's not what they're used to. In other words, all our lives, we've been basically programmed since an early age to respect authority, to actually listen to these people in suits and ties because they know better and they're there to protect us. The same thing with religion. You have people that say, trust us on blind faith. Do not question authority. And we've been programmed all our lives to always, always Listen to the people that supposedly say they're out for our best interests. And the more we see that we've allowed these people to get more and more power over us, more and more control over us, more and more say in what we do, what we don't do, where we can go, where we can't go, what we can put in our bodies, what we can't put in our bodies, we're finding out that we're not getting better. This society is not getting healthier. I mean, look at all the children that are being born with things like Alzheimer and other diseases. Look at all the depression medication that children are on these days. Look at all the diet pills that are out there that are not working, how we're overweight and depressed and financially getting ruined. Remember when they said that the bailouts were for the too big to fail so this way it could stimulate the economy? Well, does the economy seem stimulated? So what's crazier? The people like myself and many others that are trying their best to be the messenger and help get out information to let you know there are alternative ways. Instead of taking radioactive poison to cure a cancer, they talk about eating healthier foods and even things like cannabis, which is a natural plant grown in the ground. And instead of taking all kinds of medications, you can do the sun gazing and, and suntan properly, absorbing the, scu the sun's rays instead of staying under fluorescent lights all the time. I understand where people can say that, oh, we trust those people in suits and ties. But look at their track record. They're not exactly winning us over with every single thing that they've said will help us. That's actually been the opposite of what it ultimately was. So what's crazier? The people who are trying to help you get away from that or the people that are the ones saying, don't worry, don't say anything, don't research, don't question, just trust us, because we're here for you. Well, they're pocketing billions of your dollars of currency and getting you sicker and more depressed, 
easily influenced, fatter, and you spend all your time on a computer playing video games instead of researching things. Now, I can understand if somebody hears something that doesn't seem right to them because they've never heard of it before, but to automatically dismiss it without verification, does that help you or does it help those in charge who are profiting off of you in hopes that you will just listen to them? Because just imagine if these people one day just decided, well, we're going to point you in the right direction. You're going to go that way. Don't question. Don't ask what's down that road. Just follow it blindly. I know it's dark and I know you can't see, but trust us. We're here to protect you. And you fall over a cliff because you followed blindly without asking questions. Well, who do you think it's going to hurt? Them who pointed you in the direction, even if it was evil intentions, or you who actually were foolish enough to follow it without question. So if you've ever heard the expression, truth is stranger than fiction, well, a lot of the truth seems stranger than the fictions that they provide. Because basically it depends on how intelligent the masses are. And if you look at the people now when they watch things like Honey Boo Boo and Duck Dynasty and listen to people like Miley Cyrus and care about – you know, the Yankees, that's one of the reasons why I wear this hat is to remind me of what I used to hold important or playing video games all day. They're not getting more educated. They're not learning about what they're putting in their bodies. And I was guilty of that just as much as everybody else. But that's one of the reasons why I started making my own organic products. And I started researching about what's going on with the government and what's going on with gold and silver and with the monetary system. Knowledge is power. So if you don't have knowledge, then I guess you don't have power. And we've been relying for too long for these people with the suit and ties that aren't doing their job, which means they're either lying to us or they're not qualified enough to do what they say that they've done because their track record is not going in the direction we've hoped. And I think we've given them enough time because there was another um, quote that somebody sent me on my Facebook page the other day that makes perfect sense. But well, they said men in denim jackets or denim jeans created this country, but it was the men in suit and ties that are the ones destroying it. I want you to think about that. The next time you hear something that doesn't sound like our normal programming that we've had all our lives and say to yourself, what really is crazy? I tend to be a leader and not a follower. I hope about you. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.